fraction over 38 meters with a beam of almost 8 meters the Grandi Tri-Deck is Azimut's brand new flagship model and its first ever three-decker. Today we're at the Azimut Bonetti shipyard in Viareggio and we've been invited aboard for a sneak preview and sea trial. But before we take a look around, there's something I want to know. With its Grandi collection, Azimut is pushing ever further into Superyacht territory, which is traditionally the domain of its sister brand, Bernetti. The Bernetti Oasis 40, for example, is a fiberglass yacht like the Tri-Deck and only two meters longer. So what's the rationale behind a new flagship model that seems to blur the boundaries between the two brands? Uh, actually, there is not just one reason, but there are many factors. One is the market. Uh, for sure, there, are, there were a lot of uh, clients from Azimut sites that they wanted to move up and move up, keeping in the same brand, staying together with us and with the family feeling. From one side, we have the Tri-Deck. It's a planning hub with a kind of uh, sportive look. And then the, we, we have the Oasis. Oasis is a philo philosophy. It's totally new. Uh, was, the intention was to launch something in the market that was not comparable to anything. This is why they can survive or can live together in the same market. Anyone familiar with Alberto Mancini's exterior work for Azimut will instantly recognize the family resemblance in the Tri-Deck. This aft-raised platform, for example, is a feature that originally appeared on the S10, and it basically provides a sea view terrace with this wraparound aft-facing sofa and glass bulwark so as not to ruin the view. Note also that the passerelle is in the center of the deck instead of to one side and was apparently inspired by the central exhaust pipe of a famous sports car brand. And between here and the main salon, we have a cozy cockpit or patio with a fold-out table for taking breakfast in the morning that offers so much more privacy when moored stern too in the marina. Well, when Azimut Benetti asked me to design the, the Azimut flagship, the Tree deck I start sketching since the early beginning a, a nice looking yacht, but it was not enough. So uh, I decide together with my design team to focus on our energies on the layout. So we designed cascading terraces effect starting from the sun deck to the sea. The main deck is not just the classic and conventional deck, but is uh, divided in two areas, in two different levels. A main area, a patio dining area, pro more protected, divided by four steps to the aft rise terraces overlooking the sea. And thanks to the raised aft deck, we achieve two meter headroom on a beautiful 25 square meter beach club. This is definitely one of the highlights of the Tri-Deck because it takes a whole fresh look at the beach club concept on yachts of this size. No need to clear out the tenders and toys because you have a side loading garage and when the transom door is deployed you have 30 square meters of open air space here. And these big voids in the sides mean that you don't feel hemmed in as you do in some beach clubs. As you'd expect on a yacht designed for open air living, there's more al fresco space on the upper deck and sun deck, not to mention the sun pads and hot tub on the fore deck. And you effectively have four aft terraces overlooking the sea that cascade down from up on the sun deck to water level down in the stern. Moving inside, note these big windows and the fact that there's no formal dining area here in the main salon. It's great to see Azimut breaking with convention here. And in fact, the owner of this first unit chose to have the main dining table on the upper deck aft. Although clients can, of course, choose the traditional option of a table here in the salon or indeed on the sun deck. The interior design is by Achille Salvani whose work manages to be both simple and sophisticated at the same time, by no means easy to achieve, and is characterized by graceful curves and organic shapes. It's all very tasteful and discreet, and for want of a better word, super yachty. 
This first unit has six guest cabins, including this full beam master suite on the main deck forward and the bathroom with a fantastic bathtub that might look like solid brass, but in actual fact, it's made of composite to keep the weight down. On the lower deck, there are four guest cabins and unusually on a yacht of this size, on the upper deck behind the wheelhouse, there's a VIP suite. Azimut prides itself on the performance of its yachts and the technology that goes into achieving that performance. The hull form is based on what Azimut calls its D2P hull, or displacement to planing hull, which first appeared on the Grande 35 and has been further fine-tuned for the Tri-Deck. It basically combines the comfort and efficiency of a displacement yacht with the performance of a planing hull, without the need for especially powerful engines. Uh, the D2P hull is not only more efficient, but is gaining also in uh, uh, comfort and sea keeping. The weight piercer reduces uh, the uh, vertical acceleration in rough sea and the pitching mode, and the skeg improves the root uh, stability when you have uh, following or quartering seas. Uh, we measured uh, uh, an increase in efficiency that is 7-8% more uh, in uh, uh, semi-planning uh, condition and uh, an incredible uh, uh, and dramatic increase of over 40% in the displacement uh, condition. This makes uh, uh, not only more efficient than the new version of the D2P hull, but also much more versatile, especially for long cruising. Like other models in the Azimut range, the Tri-Deck uses carbon fiber for the superstructure to keep the weight down and the center of gravity low. With 2,600 horsepower MTU engines, she has a top speed of 24 knots and a cruising speed of 21 knots. Although there is the option of smaller 2,400 horsepower MTUs, whereby you lose around one knot of top speed. With 23,000 liters of fuel in the tank, at fast cruising speed of 19 knots, she has a cruising range of around 700 nautical miles. But at long range speed of around 12 knots, she almost triples that to 1,800 nautical miles. Developing a brand new flagship is always a major undertaking and the Grande Tri-Deck took three years from concept to completion. But it certainly seems to have struck a chord with Azimut owners because at the time of making this video, they'd already sold five units before the first one, this one, had even been officially presented. Which raises the question, will Azimut build bigger? Perhaps a 40 meters or indeed beyond? <laughs> well, they weren't exactly giving anything away but they didn't say it was out of the question either. It is the reason why 